Welcome back everyone to Construction Destruction, our second session. So if you picked up a baggie from us, you're gonna get some water beads and an alcohol seltzer and a little tiny container of salt. Um, when you, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your water beads and you put them in some water. Uh, even though it doesn't look like a lot, it is actually a lot. Um, everyone should have received about a fourth of a teaspoon. Um, I put mine in water overnight because I think it has better results. This doesn't look like a lot, but watch me touch the water. They do bounce everywhere. Parents, guardians, um, I just say these are choking hazards. They do break apart, but please watch them around young children. Um, but as you can see, there is a lot of water beads, even though it didn't look like a lot. And this is a fourth of a teaspoon. So you can put them in water for a few hours. I always think overnight gives you the best results. Um, you're gonna need more water than you think. So then, once you're ready, you're gonna take your water beads. Let's see if Miss Brittany can do this without making a mess. And we have our water beads kind of floating about. You're gonna take your alka seltzer. You're gonna open it. Everyone should have gotten one. There's Miss Brenny. There we go. So here's my alka seltzer. I'm gonna drop it in. And as you can see, I'm at a weird angle, my friends. Let's see. You guys are gonna make your very own lava lamp. Um, you can always play with this. You could add some food coloring. You could add some oil with food coloring. Um, get creative, but this is what you guys are gonna do. We're gonna let that kind of go for a while. Um, what's really cool about water beads is they can change their size. So I want you guys to kind of experiment and see how you can um, change them, how fast. Some of the questions is taking some of your water beads, putting them outside, seeing what the sun does to them. Um, put a couple in the freezer and see what happens there. I am giving you some salt. So what you will do is take, once this is done, as you can see, it didn't last, last for as long as the tablet dissolves, but it's still floating around. Um, you can take some of the water beads right there. You put some salt on it. And I'm not going to show you the process, but this was my end result. Um, we gave you a little bit, like a third of a container of a little one ounce salt, but you should be able to have some salt at home. And then you can try and see what happens. If you think of any other really cool way, things you can do with the water beads, let me know. Um, I hope you guys have fun. I had fun with it and I will see you guys soon. Bye.